Take three. What is happening, booth junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. And I've got a treat for you in the booth today. This is some pro-level gear that you might not be familiar with. Uh, one of the microphones that you might not be familiar with. One, if you've watched my channel, you're familiar with. You may be familiar with it. Uh, good, we're we're going to compare two microphones with a focus on this one right here. And we're going to compare it to my venerable, my one of my go-to mics, my MKH416 shotgun microphone. We're going to be comparing to this little number right here. Hi there. Oh, I'm psyched for this one. This microphone was sent to me by uh, a fellow booth junkie who said, would you like to test uh, a bunch of equipment that I have? I said, yeah, yeah, I definitely would. And uh, so he sent me a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much for sending this to me. Um, this is uh, the person who sent this to me is a uh, movie sound professional. And this microphone, I think, has been used in some movies that have been pretty popular. Not this model, this microphone. Like celebrities' mouths have been pointed right into this one. I can get some celebrity spit back on me. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think so. Uh, anyway, so let's do a comparison. We'll talk about each one of these microphones. We're going to just do a comparison between them. The first one is the MKH416. This is the one you see me used all the see me use all the time. It normally sits over here, and uh, this is a, a real popular mic with uh, voice artists with people who do voiceover, especially if you're doing like radio or TV promos, and you got to get up there and you really got to you got to hype that voice up. You got to really just bring your voice out. You might use an MKH416 because it's it's crystal clear without being. Um, overpowering it's got great bass response super clear um, and it just sounds great for promos this microphone uh, but it's also used for dialogue if you want to capture dialogue of our of actors you're going to hold your your boom pole up over the face of the actor aim it down towards their face and this is made for capturing dialogue so at a distance this microphone sounds crystal clear, sounds really good, sounds really natural for capturing the way the actor actually sounds. And this is a hypercardioid shotgun pattern. Patterns, uh, hypercardioid means it's very, very sensitive from just the very front. So there's a lobe of sensitivity on the very front. But as you move off to the side of it, pretty rapidly, the sound changes and gets less sensitive. So it's one of the advantages when you're in a situation where you've got people and noise around you, the directionality of these shotgun mics, you just point it at the actor's mouth and you're going to focus on that sound and try to eliminate some of the outside sound. Now, we're comparing this to the DPA D-Dictate. And this is, a, this is not a kit. These are two separate components that get combined to turn into a single microphone. This consists of a capsule and a preamp. Uh, this capsule does appear on a couple of different microphones, but you can buy the capsule individually. So this particular series, this is called the D-Dictate series from DPA, and you can combine different preamps and different capsules for different purposes. In this case, this person works on set and, you know, he's a boom operator and so this one uh, would be used either, you, you might put it somewhere on set to and point at the actor's mouth. It might be on a boom pole. It might be used in those situations. Anyway, this consists of the capsule, the super cardioid can, capsule, which is the 4018 capsule, super cardioid. And that is sold by itself. This is expensive. This one over here. This is a pricey little bit of gear. Just warning you. Uh, I still can't believe sort of how much money sits in front of me right now. Uh, so this, I'm going to pull this off here real quick. This last inch right here, that is the capsule for this microphone. And it's no joke. It's $1,300 for 19 grams. It's super lightweight. It is super crystal pristine clarity and that is the deal with this dpa stuff is it is designed to be like distilled water it is designed to be crystal pure flat just mm, 
Just perfect. So that when you take it into post, you can do what you need to do to it. And you're not trying to undo what a microphone, what the, what the microphone has built in so that this thing is just dead silent when it needs to be. It is crystal clear when you're speaking into it. Now, this one happens to be paired with a preamplifier segment. And when I say preamplifier, it's like just the guts that are in this microphone. It's the guts of the rest of the microphone. It still goes over into my preamp. If I didn't say that before, it still goes over there. My interface is supplying phantom power to this. But this is paired with the MMPB preamplifier. And this one has two switches on it, this particular preamplifier. So it does have a um, a high pass or a bass roll off switch that will uh, bring that will take away some of the bass. So if you have rumble or if you've got proximity effect, you can take that away. I'm just switching it over now. So you can take some of that away. Should be a pretty subtle effect, but you can take away rumble from distant traffic. You could take away rumble that's just in the ambient noise if you needed to by taking that away. And the other switch is a high boost. So the MKH416 has a naturally built in presence boost, a high boost. So if you look at the frequency response of it above about 5,000 kilohertz, uh, 5,000 hertz, the, uh, the high frequencies are boosted. It gets clearer, it gets brighter, uh, and that's sort of built into many microphones. The DPA on its own is like ruler flat. It is flat from the very low frequencies to the very high frequencies. And that way, if you wanted to manipulate it in post with an equalizer, you could mimic this microphone or whatever you needed to it. If you didn't want to, you can also, with this particular preamplifier, you can switch the high boost and slide that over. And we should notice that, ooh, I hear it in my headphones, that I get brighter. So I can make the characteristics of this microphone more like this one. This one is what it is. This one I have the switch with the preamplifier. I'm just going to put it back to neutral so that we're so that we're neutral. What else is there to say about these microphones? I, I, I don't have a lot of information about the the DPA microphone. I don't have the manual. I don't have much for it. I do know that from what I know about DPA is their mission is pristine clarity and they are not they're not opposed to char <laughs> charging you for it this preamplifier the guts of this microphone are it's like 540 dollars or something like that so these two things together this is almost two thousand dollars this little microphone right here and if you have the need to get absolute crystal clear pristine sound this is the kind of microphone and you need it to be easy to hold, you need it to be subtly placed, and you need it to absolutely perform, then this is the kind of thing that you're going to going to buy. So there is a, there is a lot to be said for this microphone, but it is $1,800. I think I calculated the capsule itself is like $65 per, gr per gram, more than your most expensive Hermes perfume. Um, you're going to pay for it. But I, I wanted you to see it. I wanted you to sort of, sort of have the experience of, of seeing what these two things are like. So when you start to get up into the, the upper echelon of microphones, the stuff that they would use that, that if you know, Spielberg says, I want you to use these microphones, you know, these might be the kinds of microphones that, that you would see on set. Um, and so and here's what, what, what they sound like. Anyway, so this is the DPA. I, I don't know what to say. What else to say about it? The question is: Is w w does it sound good? Does it sound good to you? I, I think when my first initial gut reaction to this microphone, when I heard it, was my 416 sounds better. But I, then I realized that these two aren't necessarily meant to compete with each other because I can make this one sound more like this one by. By hyping it, I can hype this microphone right up or I can keep it neutral. It's the neutrality of this microphone that allows it to be placed anywhere and for it to be effective in more situations. So this one can be used in many situations. And whether it would work for voiceover, I'm sure it would. I mean, there's no there's no hiss in this microphone. There's just there's just nothing. I just don't hear anything in this microphone, uh, except 
clarity. And so how does it sound to you? Does it sound okay? I certainly hope so. So you're going to go make a movie and you got a couple of extra thousand dollars? Maybe the DPA microphone is what you're looking for. If not, maybe the Sennheiser at half price is something that will, will work. You will notice, it's hard to say, the the DPA is about that long, whereas the, the, the 416 is like a foot long. So there are certain situations where this microphone is just going to fit fit better. And then you this this capsule can be used on other aspects. It can also go on a gooseneck. You can go on a, a, a microphone, a different preamplifier by itself. It's sort of a, a componentized system. I feel like I'm rambling because I don't really have a ton of knowledge about this microphone, but I just wanted to talk into it and I wanted to have you guys hear it and see if it's something that you're interested in. Anyway, I think it's super cool and I hope I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't completely waste your time. We'll be back to regular programming here pretty soon, but I wanted to I wanted everybody to see this one. Anyway, so that's all I have for you today. Now, Go get yourself a couple of movie microphones. Get out there on set. Get a painter's pole if you have to. And yeah, that's not what you should do. That's really not what you should do. But I do want you to get out there. And I do want you to record something amazing. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks.